Now there are a lot of sparrow-like birds, and that's exactly what we're going to go through next, is how to separate sp sparrow lookalikes from actual sparrows. Now the four buntings can look kind of sparrow-like, really just the females. As far as painted buntings go, the dullest is always going to be green, female and young of course, um, and sparrows are just never green. They're either a brown, tan, or black. Now indigo, varied, and lazuli buntings look brown and are more sparrow-like. But overall, there's just little markings on these three buntings. Clues like dull breast streaks, whitish wing bars, and thick bills really help separate these. Now dick sissels could look kind of sparrow-like, but they just lack distinctive tones. They're tan brown, they have very short wide tails, while most sparrows have longer tails. They also have very long wing tips, broadly streaked backs, and very heavy pale bills, unlike most sparrows. And pine siskins are very small cute birds that can look kind of sparrow-like. Just look for their very long wings and they have a very very sharp pointed bill. And they're also a lot more acrobatic than sparrows and are more finch-like overall. Now speaking of finches, we have the house finch, which is very brown, long, and just not a whole lot of overall markings. It has a notched tail and very blurry streaked underparts with a thick curved bill. Now sparrows don't really have curved bills, especially as much as in a finch. As far as catsins and purple finches go, the females and juveniles could also be confused as sparrows, but just look for stronger face patterns. Both catsin and purple have some white eyebrows on their face and very heavy short bills. Now a female or juvenile red-winged blackbird could potentially be confused as a sparrow, but just remember, no sparrow is as large as a red-winged blackbird. Cowbirds, however, are smaller and more sparrow-like. Females and juveniles can be mistaken, and even some famous ornithologists have been confused and called brown-headed cowbirds a sparrow. Bobo lynx are larger than sparrows and have longer bills distinguishable from sparrows. Now, snow buntings, even the darkest snow buntings have a very extensive white in the tail and wing, and sparrows just don't have that. You've got the lark sparrow and the vesper sparrow, and they do have some white in their tail, just not as much as a snow bunting, and snow buntings also have a lot more white in the wing too. Now, long spurs are a lot more likely to be confused than all the other birds that we talked about, but they're just larger, and they have very short tails with long wings, and are overall just large headed. However, in the winter, females and even males can look kind of similar to sparrows. Just look for their larger size and they like open barren habitats, which very few sparrows like that kind of habitat. 